doing a live unboxing of the uh, OCZ TR150 SSD. Okay, here we go. So from this box, you can see uh, pretty neat packaging. Simple, but does the trick. Um, yeah, let's start. Okay, here we go. We'll uh, do the usual packaging. So this is just the box here right there. Okay, what do you got right there? And then we have this, uh, what's this here? Technical RMA sheet, so nothing uh, too special about that. Okay, I guess here you go, the uh, manual, the uh, instruction manual, as you can see. Okay, and uh, the drive itself. As you can see, the drive itself. Let's have a look inside, here you go. Oh, well, easy to uh, take off. And, uh, and then you have the actual drive itself. Okay, so it's the uh, Toshiba branded OCZ TR150. For all you guys who have, don't know, uh, Toshiba, I wouldn't say recently, I think about a year and a half ago, uh, acquired the OCZ brand. So OCZ technology makes uh, very high performance brand memory. Uh, SSDs and a load of uh, consumer products for the PC range. Um, yeah, so they uh, uh, Toshiba came along and uh, decided they want a share of that, so they decided to buy them out. But yeah, it's the OCZ uh, TR150 SSD. This one is a 240 gigabyte. So if you can see, it's 240 gigabyte capacity um, not much to look at the back just the usual voltage uh, spec model number serial number that kind of stuff and you can see the connectors right here usual standard uh, SATA connectors it's the power and that's the data um, yeah just pretty much your standard uh, SSD I noticed the uh, the casing are aluminium so it's good for uh, cooling, um, although these SSD drives don't produce that much heat anyway. But yeah, pretty uh, solid. I'd like to take it off though, but uh, I'll do that in my review. Or actually, Jeremy will be doing uh, the review, our US senior editor in the US. Yeah, Jeremy will be reviewing this. I'll be doing taking some uh, preliminary uh, results and testing but uh, the whole drive will be fully tested by Jeremy so yeah this is the uh, the Toshiba OCZ brand uh, TR150 SSD 240 gigabytes uh, bytes of uh, storage capacity and uh, let's see how we would uh, install this on our desktop PC all right so let's take this away um, we'll move this on the side. You guys, you see this? This, my friend, is the desktop PC that will be uh, installing the drive. Um, let me see. Let me let's do, let's give it a good angle. I think this is a good angle right here. Right here. Yep, it's a good angle right here. So that's the trick with uh, streaming from three different platforms with three different mobile device, devices. We've got to get the angles right. So. Uh, on this side, we have uh, Facebook Live. Um, on here, we have Twitch. Uh, uh, and then obviously here, we have uh, the Periscope. So, okay. So this is the uh, desktop PC as you would normally have, uh, usual. And we're gonna take the uh, Toshiba OCZ TR150 SSD driver. We're gonna put this in here. And what you do is gonna obviously find some sort of spare connectors and, and cabling and uh, we have a spare power cable right here and you can see that okay it's your standard uh, um, power connector for your S, for your S adder all right and then uh, obviously we'll need 
a data cable. So here's your data cable. Here's your standard uh, SATA data cable. Okay. And um, obviously it doesn't come with any mounts. That's the problem with these uh, packaging. So you can see, I mean, this is just a box and it doesn't come with any uh, uh, three and a half uh, mounts, but you can buy them quite cheaply at any hardware store. So um, with the mounts, obviously, the, 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 you screw them on these here, right here. Um, right here. And then that obviously three and a half inch uh, uh, mount will slide in here, right here, sliding right here. Um, the few obviously what we do is just usual connectors is this SATA connector and we just plug that right in here right there and uh, the power uh, you need to make sure that you have enough <laughs> uh, slack on your power cable right so the power cable then um, obviously connect right here so your data for your uh, SATA SATA connection there, data cable for your SATA, and then your power for your SATA drives right here. And then obviously this would be mounted in a three and a half inch uh, plate, and then that goes right here. Obviously with the newer cases, this section here, the, this bracket here will be removed. Um, I don't see any any reason to have any CD drives anymore, DVD drives. Um, a lot of the modders in fact put the drive itself at the bottom, bottom of the case, or maybe on the side of the back plate, um, gives that kind of uh, uh, extra cooling for your processor. But yeah, so this is what you do. Um, don't be afraid to touch the whole drive itself. It's, it's fully protected with the, the aluminium casing. Um, you know, some people uh, are afraid to touching the electronic components like RAM and stuff like that, but hey, um, fully sealed I guess um, solid so don't be afraid to get your hands in there and really you know plug in the cables and stuff like that so yeah so uh, pretty much uh, uh, easy to install the uh, OCZ um, TR150 SSD nothing to it really all right so um, that's pretty much it on how to install it on your desktop this drive here uh, will send you back around about um, around about eighty dollars US. That's the uh, Toshiba OCZ branded TR one hundred and fifty SSD uh, live unboxing right here at FunkyKit.com. Okay, so make sure that you subscribe to our channel uh, on the YouTube, uh, join us uh, on the Periscope, and also sign up and follow us on. Uh, Twitter as well as the Facebook so so thanks for watching guys and thanks for spending your time to join us on our live stream